<laughs> okay, so this is going to be part 10. I, I, I could be like one off, but we just saw one of the best cutscenes in the whole game. I don't know if you've noticed, but this is why he's crazy. Uh, this is like a secret room in the police station. It's a goddamn dungeon. Like, look at this. There's a saw with a bloody wooden, like, operating thing. Some fucking axes and shit. Some dirty sinks, some skulls, and some shit in jars. Like, this dude is, like, cutting people up down here and shit. Like, this isn't even part of Umbrella. This is, like, his little hangout area. The taxidermy used to be his hobby. That was horrible. That didn't even sound like him. <laughs> People are cutting shit up. Man, it's gonna be that one gay thing. I wanted to fight Birkin. I guess that's all in scenario B. Lee. Catch me alive. I gotta go get Sherry anyways. That's funny. Yay, the sewers. One of my favorite parts in the game, even though it's super short. The sewers seriously only take like 15 minutes tops to get out of, and like 5 minutes of that is a really, really awesome long CGI cutscene. Well, it's kind of longish, the CGI, but there's like a talking scene and shit. With a net. We'll find out who that bitch is. She fucking amazing. Watch her think a lot of it's funny. Claire! You came back! Because there's I no- I can't believe the man who developed the G-Virus is actually her father. Dun dun dun, because there's no way to like, know What's if she's wrong, Claire? or not, but- I It's mean, nothing. She obviously But is, I think I found a way out funny. of here. We should be able to find like some place safe really if we can just make it out of town. And fucking Sherry's like, what? But- Don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Okay, come on. Leon, are you still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be alright, trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. Claire! Claire! Wait, wait! You know, I was... I'm, I'm gonna do it right now anyways. I wasn't going to. I was thinking of not bringing up the 1.5 um, conversation or argument that I actually had with a lot of people. Like, uh, 1.5 would have been a better game than this. You know, as like an enthusiast of the fucking games, I would love to play 1.5, but I'm sure my favorite will always be this one. I mean, there's a reason 1.5 got redone. Yeah, it looks cool and like, you know, different. 
but, you know, the, I guess the main point of it was because it was too much like Resident Evil 1, so they wanted to change it. I'm sure this, as a final product, will always, like, please me more, but I would love to play 1.5. I just don't think it would be better than this. And that's what I'm always having to tell these assholes and shit. Like, on 1.5 videos, they're always, like, everybody there. Because the only people looking up 1.5 videos are people like me, like, fans of the series as a whole. And for some reason, everybody in the community seems to think 1.5 would have been better. Come on, let's get out of here. I'll use the word, or the term, interesting, but, um, oh, funny, where's the word? Where? Oh, no, there's... Run! <laughs> the hand gestures. <laughs> the sewers, finally. Pretty traumatizing for me because I'm claustrophobic. Ah! Oh my god damn dude. Ah! Like to just get sucked down that little hole. Sherry? Where are you? And she's supposed to Sherry! Be like Where? 13 and shit, dude. I'm here! Oh my god, Sherry. I forgot about this part. Oh, see, she did it. She fucking did it. That's what I was talking about back in, like, part six or something, I think. Whenever she climbs, sometimes she just fucking, like, drops her leg, and it's so annoying. You can't touch Sherry, dog. She can go through, like, any little crack in the game. 13 year old girls crawl around vents and shit. I'm not gonna lie though, it was pretty cool. Like, when you first play this game, to like see Capcom's take on like survival for a little girl in this situation. Crawling through vents and shit. Oh my god, dude, wow, these things are so annoying. They do like no damage. They just like slow you the fuck down. And another part where I cut my pants. That's I mean, dude Cherry had a really shitty time. Like, she's like a Claire? little girl, and she gets the worst out of all of it in this game. To be <sighs> honest, nothing bad really happens to Claire that, that much. Like, the language show, Sherry gets, like, fucking impregnated by her father. And she, like, has to sleep on garbage and shit and like, be traumatized. But nothing really happens to Claire that's, like, super devastating and what like, everybody's already going through. Gonna need these. And actually, make me an Uber herb right here. Full heal plus heal poison. Uh -huh. forget the valve handle. I always forget the valve handle sometimes at this part and I have to run all the way back. It really pisses me off.
Wouldn't mind playing with the bow gun some. I usually like keep the handgun in my inventory all the time when I'm playing. But fuck. I think there's handgun ammo in here too. <laughs> I'll just save it, I'll need it anyways. This whole ladder sequence will be for nothing. I don't think it is though, because it was on the side chair he was on. Should be that one part. Yay! And there's a zombie over here. I know there's some kind of ammo down here. Fucking retard, dude. So spaced out. <laughs> Wasting a lot of time and shit. Going through fucking doors. I'm gonna get like a C at the end of this. Because I've been saving it so much. That's why I'm actually like trying to play for a good. 30 minutes right now. So I've kind of neglected this. F nah, what the fuck did I even say? Neglected this for like the past two days. I kind of just stopped at part eight, and like I said, I'm gonna finish this. I can't really do let's plays for the games I'm currently playing now. Like multiplayer shit, like. Fucking Counter Strike Source. And I've been playing Lord of the Rings online lately. Getting kind of bored of that one though. I don't think I'm gonna be playing it for too much longer. It's a decent game. I just can't find myself getting into an MMO anymore. I've played so many of them and they're just boring to me now. Spiders creep me the fuck out too. Okay, I guess that scenario would be he's right over there. I never usually kill these guys because it's not really worth it. They're not really like that much of a threat, but it's fun shooting. This is like one of my favorite parts in the whole game. Because it shows Birkin's dumb eyes. Who are you? Oh, I see. Another spy sent by Umbrella, right? Let me guess. You're here to steal my husband's G-Virus, aren't you? You are tenacious, I'll give you that. Husband? Then you must be Annette. Sherry's mother? What? Sherry's wandering around alone in the sewers. You have to help me find her. That's impossible. 
I told her to go to the police station. What's she doing here? William will be after her. William? That's right. The creature that's been causing all this destruction is none other than my own husband. This way. That hunk and the uh fuck are they the UBC? It's sheer they perfection. Are, they're different brands. My of precious G virus. No one will ever take like you away from me. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G virus sample. Sorry. But I won't just hand over my life's work. You might hit the sample. Umbrella private army and shit. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. I just stole the sample and the... William. Thanks. Oh my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. Are you telling me that he injected the G-Virus into his own body? The G-Virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot! Eat this, you freak! The guns are stopping it! What is this thing? No! Hurry! Wh what is this thing? Because Hunk is the only survivor of that team. So those rats were the carriers of the virus? As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. I tried to save him, but I'm afraid it's already too late. But... And that's not even the entire story. Every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other life forms. That's why he's after Sherry. What are you trying to say? The bodies of individuals with non-related genetic coding are likely to reject the embryo, but since Sherry is his daughter, that possibility is non-existent. It's an inherent survival instinct. It's Sherry! You go that way. Claire, like, totally just tricked that bitch. 